Hello. Um, today I am going to be painting May. Yes, I did the outline beforehand uh, with a Prismacolor Cold Erase uh, red pencil. Um, I'm fairly new to this watercolor, I guess, world. <laughs> uh, so I am. I mostly do uh, wet on dry because I'm way too scared to try the wet on wet technique it just seems like I have no control over that and I kinda don't like that <laughs> um, uh, for the background I wasn't sure what I wanted to do I usually don't really do backgrounds which is pretty bad I know um, but I decided to uh, paint or try to do this technique where uh, you paint on glass and then you press the glass onto the paper and it just like leaves this like cool looking pattern type of thing so that's what I was trying to do right there which I kind of liked I don't know I really liked how it looked And right here is where I start to add the blue as a shadow. Um, the main my main goal, I guess, for this piece was to try to not add any blue, any black. I mean, try to stay away from black. But I kind of fell towards the end because I wasn't getting, I guess the effect that I wanted with just blue and pink and red so then I ended up adding black towards the end Uh, painting clothes, I feel like it's one of my weaknesses because I am, I'm not sure, I'm just not, I guess, really capable of making, I guess, fabric look realistic, which is something I should probably work on to get better, for sure. And overall, I feel like watercolor is a pretty forgiving medium. I don't think you can really mess up with watercolor unless, I guess, you go too dark or something. But you can usually always um, take away color with a napkin or something, which is something that I really enjoy about watercolor now that I've been like using it for around two months. i
Um, thank you so much for watching and if you would like to see more uh, please consider subscribing and if you like the painting leave it a like please and thank you and goodbye